Um, Open Eye Codex translates natural language into code, as first seen in GitHub Pilot. Um, GitHub Pilot is based on Codex. Uh, Open Eye Codex is a descendant of GPT-3. Um, its training data contains both natural language and billions of lines of source code from public publicly available sources, including code in public GitHub repositories. And um, OpenAI codec mostly is mostly capable is most capable in Python, but it is also proficient in over a dozen languages, including JavaScript, Go, Perl, PHP, and Ruby. So let's start by creating a simple um, tennis game. So we say create a blue block on the left, and you can see the OpenAI logo executing there. Then we say move the block up when Q is pressed and down when A is pressed. So on the right you can see the JavaScript being created. And you can actually go and edit the JavaScript and save it again or delete that step. So if I press um, Press A, the block goes down, Q, the block moves up. So next we are going to create the red block on the right hand side. And we're going to say move the red block up. When I was pressing down, P is pressed. So I misspelled uh, the word block, but it's still it's still interpreted correctly and it's still executed. And we'll say make the background green. Next we want to add the image of a ball, tennis ball. So I say add image called ball. And there's a URL to a picture of a tennis ball on the web. Um, right, so the, there's our picture of the ball. So next I say crop the ball circularly just to make it more realistic. And I can also say make the image ball smaller. There we go. I also want to say disable scroll bars. Right next, we want to move the ball just to bounce around on the court. So I say animate the ball to move both horizontally and vertically, bouncing off the walls, off the sides. And it should start moving now. There it goes. I say draw a vertical line in the middle of the screen just to make our, our screen look more like a tennis court. Um, you can see the code is still executing, creating a JavaScript. I say make the line white and 20 pixels width. Then I want to keep score and I say create a variable called red score. I also want to create a variable called blue score. And next I say display the value of the variable red score in the top right. We should see a value here. There's a zero. And I can say make it so just I can implicitly refer to it to that variable displayed and I can say make it bigger and bolder then I can say display the value of the variable blue score score on the top left There you can see the zero and again implicitly I can say make it bigger and bold. That executed successfully and make the blue score display red. So 
so that's a mistake let's let's just correct that we make that blue commit that should change to blue there we go I can say make the red score red again there's a typo but it should interpret it correctly there we go we've got our score in red so then I say check every 10 milliseconds if the image ball and the blue block overlaps code is for executing and if it does overlap if true incoming blue score and you can see if it touches during that 10, 10 milliseconds that variable is um, is incremented so I can have the same check every 10 milliseconds if the image ball and the red square overlaps right and now just implicitly it increments that score as well um, without me defining that um, Next, we want to place a button. We want to reset the game. So we're placing a place a button on the bottom left hand corner called blue button. There's our blue button. When clicked zero, the variable blue score. So now when I click this button, our variable on top there should zero. And there it zeroes, and I say make button bigger. Again, implicitly, it will just know to increase the sign of that button, the size of that button. And I say place a button on the bottom right hand corner called red button. When clicked zero, the variable red score. So let's add that functionality to that button. And I've clicked it and our score there is zero. So again, I can say make the button bigger. And Codex will implicitly know to make this last button bigger in size. I also want to add a horizontal line in the middle of the screen 20 pixels wide all right that's not let's just edit that here um, change that to 20 there we go. Right, add a large button called stop in the middle bottom of the screen. And then I say when the button is clicked, freeze the image ball. Right, so if I click it now, the ball should freeze. And there it freezes, it stops. Um, right, so also what then you want to start the ball, so I say add a large button called start in the bottom of the screen in the middle. And then when the button is clicked, unfreeze the ball. So if I say start, and then the ball starts bouncing again. 
so make the start button larger it does that make the stop button larger make the start button blue and make the stop button red Right, and then we've got our game, blue button, red button, reset, I can stop the game, and I can start the game, and move the, my racket up and down, and try and trap the ball to score more, more points. Um, I can also say, um, make the blue button in color and change the text to reset score the code is still executing Right, and there's my button red. Oh, um, my button is blue for reset, reset score. And I can say change the red button to red and change, change the text to reset score. And if I click here, my score is reset, my score is reset, and I can stop and start the game. 